Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone with the newest software on it. Um, to check your version, first you're going to want to go into settings, and you want to go into general, about, and then you want to go scroll down to version. Mine's 4.2.1, and most of you probably are thinking, well, that's not jailbreakable. Uh, Green Poison, with the Chronic Dev Team, they came out with a jailbreak for it. Leave like the day that Verizon released their iPhone, since they put it on an unjailbreakable firmware. I think they have it on the 3.2.1 or something like that. Well, with this, it's jailbreakable. Um, so you want to go to greenpoison.com. The O, the last O in poison is a zero. I'll put the link in the description. And you want to pick your uh, computer or software, whatever you want to say. Okay, so I have Windows, and there's Linux and Mac. So once, I don't know why my toolbar is not going down right now. But once that downloads, we'll get it down there. I'm just going to open it here. And you're going to want to open it, it comes in a RAR file. So I'll leave the link in the description for WinRAR if you don't have it already. Um, I don't know, this readme, it's in a file, I'm not sure. I didn't try opening it because I don't know what the file is. Um, so once you get this, you just want to extract the green poison that XEX, EXE, sorry, to your desktop. And you'll get an icon that looks like this. Like the Apple symbol just in scroll. So you'll open that up. And as you can see it says, please power off your device and connect it to begin. So you're just gonna hold down your power button for a little bit and slide the power off. And power that off, plug it in, and let it load up and stuff so it knows that it's in here. Then you're gonna hit prepare to jailbreak. I don't have my phone in now because I don't wanna re jailbreak it, I don't wanna mess anything up. Um, so it's gonna say get ready to start, it's gonna give you a countdown. And you're gonna press and hold the sleep button for two seconds, continue holding the sleep button and hold the home button at the same time for 10 seconds. And when that's done, it's going to say release sleep button or continue homing, holding home button for 15 seconds. Now, <coughs> if you continue holding the home button throughout the whole jailbreak, the process goes a lot faster. Just a little faster, you just won't have to be waiting so long. And then, it's it, that this isn't going to come up, but if it does come up, just hit try again. And since it's already in DFU, DFU mode, um, it should just go right through the putting it into DFU mode process. And it should come up down here, ready to jailbreak or uh, jailbreak ready, something like that. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to continue home, holding the home button if you want. I think it goes a little faster. And this is your progress bar down here. This is going to show you where in the jailbreak you are. I think this is going to go a couple times. I think it was like three times. Um, your screen's going to turn white once you hit the jailbreak. Don't worry, nothing's getting messed up. It's just untethering it. Oh yeah, by the way, this is untethered. So if you if your phone or iPod dies or if you have to turn it off, the jailbreak's not going to go away. So that's a good thing. Um, so and then a bunch of codes going to pop up. It's like the terminal of the iPhone. Um, so once you've done that, you'll get an app called Loader. It's a green icon with a little loading symbol. You're going to click on that and you're going to install Cydia. Make sure that you're connected to Wi Fi or service. Um, download Cydia and you're on your way from there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe.